guys? Learning with Rich here. So after learning how to add wall-hosted devices, so this time around, we are going to learn how to add ceiling-mounted devices. All right, so let's get started for our fire alarm systems design. All right, so the first thing that we are going to do, just like what we did on our wall-hosted family, I'm just going to zoom in here, is we are going to load it. Okay, so I'm going to select the insert tab. And then after that, let's go to the load family. So same procedure, just like what we did on our last video. So load family. And then from our metric folder, let's look for the electrical folder, MEP. And then it's still on the information and communication. So just open that one. And then let's look for the fire alarm. Okay, so now that we're here, I just want, maybe I'm just going to adjust this one. Okay, so I can see it nicely. Okay, so now the family that we will be using here, so don't forget to hold your control so that you can select multiple family. Okay, so I'm going to select a uh, fire alarm horn that is ceiling hosted or ceiling mounted, so that one. And then let's look for... Uh, fire alarm, horn strobe, ceiling mounted as well. So hold your control and then click. There you go. So I just selected now two family. And then I'll also grab some speaker. So let's look for the fire alarm, speaker, ceiling mounted. All right. So this one, so I'm going to hold my control again. And then let's add another family which is let's say i want to have a smoke detector so i'm going to hold control and then click the smoke detector okay so that's it so once you have selected all the families so you can now go to the open okay just open so it will now be loaded inside our project now, the next thing that we are going to do since we are now going to insert it. So, let's go to the Systems tab, just like what we did last time. So, Systems, and then after that, you look for the device. Okay, and then after that, let's look for the fire alarm. Okay, so here's now the family that we just loaded. Okay, so the first one that we're going to do is let's insert our, uh, let's say, smoke detector. Okay, so you have here different types of smoke detector, but actually the way they was created, it's just the same 3D model. It's just a different name. So that's how you do it in Revit. So you do not create too much detail on your family. One important thing is don't forget to put a connector to your family so that you can create a circuit or a system, okay? But for the family of your, uh, for example, fire alarm family or devices, you do not need to create the 3D model uh, too much detail. So as you can see here, I have air sampling type. That's the uh, 3D model. As you can see, they are just having the same 3D model. So you don't need to create your... 3D model with uh, too much detail on it. So I'll just select one here. So I'll click air sampling, for example, and then right off the bat. So as you can see here, the placement. So this uh, smoke detector is a uh, face hosted family. As you can see, it you can host it on your vertical face or place on face or place on work plane. Now, if I'm going to hover my pointer here, since I want to place it on my ceiling, instead of using place on vertical face, I'm going to go ahead and select place on face. All right, so you click place on face, and then after that, we are now going to place it. As you can see, it's now, I was now able to place it. Okay, so let's say, for example, I'm just going to place it one here. So I'll just place randomly. Okay, so I'll place one here. Okay, so I'll place one smoke detector, smoke detector here. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to click the drop down arrow. So this time around, so I'm going to go ahead and select some 
fire alarm strobe speaker so i'm going to select that one again make sure place on face is selected because we will be placing that on our ceiling just remember if you are going to remove your ceiling or the architect removes the ceiling your family that is hosted the, on your ceiling will be deleted as well so that's how it works all right so i'm going to place one here there you go so that's my fire alarm strobe speaker now another family is the horn strobe so i'm gonna go ahead and select this one okay so maybe i'm going to press space bar to rotate that okay so i will just place it here okay so i'm going to place one here to align to the other side okay and then i'm going to place one here okay now for the last family i'm going to insert here my uh, fire alarm horn that is ceiling hosted as well so i'm going to select that one standard so i can put it here at the corner i can put it here at the corner here and then i can put it here on the corner okay so you can still rotate that so i'm going to select that and then i'm going to select rotate okay so let's rotate that one let's say about 135 enter oops not that one so it should be somewhere here oh all right oops why is it like that <laughs> okay spacebar all right so there you go so you can still edit that one okay so basically this is how your ceiling hosted family looks like so again if the architect updated their model, they removed the ceiling. So all the families that is hosted on the ceiling will be deleted as well. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I want to see these um, devices in uh, perspective view. So that's why what I'm going to do is from the default 3D, there's a drop down arrow. So I'm going to select your camera. So you just click the camera. And then after that, I'm going to click here. You can actually change the height of your camera if you want. So I'm going to click here. And then I'm going to pick another point somewhere here. And there you go. So as you can see, those are my devices. So I'm just going to click this. I'll just adjust it. Okay, and then the next thing that I'm going to do instead of using the Discipline Electrical, so I'm going to click the drop down arrow here and then I'll be selecting coordination. Okay, and then after that I'll change the uh visual style here. I'm going to change that to realistic. And there you have it. So as you can see, those are my devices. Okay. So basically, this is how it works. So if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you guys as soon as i can thank you for watching guys have a nice, have a nice day, day.